Hey everyone, in this video we'll talk about what is binary search tree and what are the implementations of binary search tree and what are the properties of binary search tree. We'll talk about everything in this video. Let's start. So what is basically binary search tree or BST? So we can also call this binary search tree as BST. So BST is a binary search tree. Now as you can assume from this term that is binary search tree. So binary means the tree must have only two child nodes, right? Every node can have only two child nodes. So let's say that this is a node and every node has two child nodes. Binary search tree has some other properties as well. So what are those? Those are, you can see that this is the 40. Now, you can see one thing that all the value in the right hand side are greater than 40 and all the value in the left hand side of 40 are less than 40. So this is what the binary search tree is. The left subtree will be lesser than the root node and the right subtree will be greater than the root node and same thing goes for every node. So if you go for 20 then you can see that 30 is greater than 20 and 10 is less than 20 and for 60 you can see that 70 is greater than 60 and 50 is less than 60. So this is what binary search tree is. Now we will look at the properties of the binary search tree. So what are the properties of binary search tree? So what is the first property that is right node must be greater than the root node and left node must be less than the root node. So these are the most important two properties of BST or binary search tree. Left subtree contains lesser value than the root node key. Right subtree contains greater value than the root node key. So in the last slide I have already discussed about these things. And the most important point is all the subtree must be a BST in itself. So in this case you can see that all subtrees are following the properties of BST or binary search tree. So these are the properties of binary search tree. Now we will see that how we can create a binary search tree or what is the architecture of a binary search tree. So we have already discussed that in the left hand portion we have the lesser value and in the right hand portion we have the greater value. 50 is greater than 40 and 20 is less than 50. So you can see that at the left node we have 10, 10 is less than 20 and at the right hand side we have 30 which is greater than 20. So here we are satisfying the properties of BST and these are the null values that we have. These all are the null values. So this is how we can construct a binary search tree. Now we'll look at the advantages of BST or binary search tree. So insertion and deletion operations are faster. So in array insertion takes O of n time. In linked list insertion also takes O of n time. But in BST it takes log n time in average case. So in the worst case it also takes O of n time but for the average case it takes log n time. For insertion and deletion it takes log n time for the average case. So duplicate entries are not allowed in binary search trees. So you cannot insert 6 over here. So that is restricted. So you cannot insert any duplicate element in a binary search tree. So binary search tree gives us efficient searching that the searching is O of login for average case so for the worst case it also takes o of n time so we'll discuss about everything in the next videos that how we can perform the insertion how we can perform the deletion searching we'll talk about everything in this series so the main advantage is time complexity so binary search tree takes minimal time to perform such operations so what are the time complexities for the traversal that is O of n for average for worst that is O of n because in traversal we have to go through n elements or whatever nodes we have within our tree. So traversal takes O of n time for array for linked list for hash map or anything traversal takes O of n time. 
searching takes O of log n for the average case, O of n for the worst case. For insertion, it also takes O of log n time for average case. For the worst case, it takes O of n time. For deletion in average case, it takes log n time. And for the worst case, it takes O of n time. This chart is very important. I would like to request you just take a screenshot. So I hope you have taken a screenshot. So now we'll see that what is the difference between binary tree and binary search tree. So in binary tree, we can have unsorted values. So let's say that your tree can be 10, 20, 60, then 5, anything. But in binary search tree, it has to be a sorted manner. So binary search tree or BST is sorted. That's why operations are faster. In binary tree, this is unsorted. That's why operations are slower. So binary tree may have duplicate values. In binary search tree, we cannot have any duplicate values. So binary search tree is a duplicate entry restricted tree. So in binary tree, we don't maintain any order. But in BST, every subtree has to be a BST. Let's say that 5. Uh, 11. So you can see that this is a BST in itself. Let's say there's a left and there's the 100. So that is very tiny. Yeah. So let's say that 90. Yeah. So every tree is a BST in itself. So right subtree has the greater value and the left subtree has the lower value. So here in binary search tree, we are maintaining an order. So these are the difference between binary tree and binary search tree. So in this video, I have discussed about what are the properties of BST, what are the advantages of BST and what is the difference between BST and binary search tree. If you have any doubt, just write in the comment section. See you in the next video.